Hi guys, we're just going to do a, a quick video on how to remove a fuel rail with the injectors attached. Um, I can't do it on my car because mine's a diesel and a slightly different methods to doing it. So what I'll do, I'm going to show you how to remove the actual whole rail, which is all of this along to here, and the injectors. This is one of your tasks for fuel and exhaust. To remove it, we're going to have to remove the two 8mm bolts and lift it off. Right guys, to remove the rail, what we do, use a ratchet with an 8mm, loosen the two bolts off, you should be able to undo them then. Put them safe in a bit tray. And then what we should be able to do is very carefully pull the fuel injector rail out. And lift it all off. And that is how we can do that. Right guys, once we lose the last belt, very carefully, if we give that a quick wobble, we should be very careful to be able to pull the injector rail out and with the fuel attached, like that. They're the actual injectors, but if we wanted to take the injector off, what we'd do, we'd push this little clip down here, probably use a screwdriver, just push it down, slide that off. And then we should be able to remove this clip here. Off the back, which just slides over the place, just locks in, and then you can actually remove the whole injector. <coughs> when you're looking at the injector, there's a little rubber O-ring on each end. You want to be inspecting them to make sure there's no slits in them if the splits air will get into the system other than that what we then do we're then going to put it back in place so just slot it back into the fuel rail get your little clip that slides over the top and then we put it back in the reverse order what we've got to do is when we make sure we put this in we slide it back over it's that way put it into the slots where the injectors sit which is there make sure all the rubbers are sitting nice All we then do is get the bolts, put them back in, and tighten them back up with the ratchet. Make sure your ratchet goes onto the lock and just very gently nip it up. Probably only about five or six newton meters, if that. You can then get all your wiring, clip it back into the right locations, refit all your pipes, and your little clips holding the pipes in place. One thing I will say is when you remove the main fuel pipe, which would sit in there, make sure you, the engine's cold 
so no fuel gets onto our hot exhaust or our engine and also it's depressurized because these can stay pressurized sometimes that's it guys